Good morning. It is a little hazy, foggy this morning. Man, look at that crew. Did you ever think you could be dog food poor? We're on that verge of making that term a reality. But we love our dogs. I got the go ahead from FSA to mow a couple of CRP waterways ahead of the the mowing date down in Park County that's got some Canada thistle in it. So we're going to send him down there and get those mowed. This morning I think Kyle and I are going to do a little bean scouting. That'll be nice and wet this morning with the heavy dew and fog. See how many fields we do have that are at least in the R3 stage. I'm guessing at this point with the rains we've had we probably don't have very many fields that won't won't be ready for fungicide application. So we've got basically one, two, three, one, two, three, top four nodes. Looking for pods at least three sixteenths of an inch, I believe which puts that in the R3 stage, it's, it's there. Um, so I think by the time the ground gets dry enough, <clears throat> everything we've looked at so far has been either well in, our earliest beans are well into R3, and then some of the later beans are just, are just getting there. So um, I think by the time conditions straighten up a little bit and the ground gets dry enough to run I think everything will be runnable runnable I don't know if that's a word or not we will be able to run all of the fungicide on the beans at that point all right well we're going to run down to Park County um, where we got permission to run those waterways we're just going to get some drone footage of uh the mower running some waterways I thought that'd be kind of cool so maybe use it to do a little crop scouting while we're there Not sure where it's at, but it's supposed to be coming back. Oh, there it is. Quiet little thing. That's what said he caught a rock. Then a couple of the wing blades up pretty good. It's making it not mow. 
not mowing level. They're bent, but they're not not as bad as I've seen. Yeah, you can just tell like up against the, you know, it's just yeah. a bunch of stuff. It's not cutting as low. Yeah. Uh, about all we can do there is get new blades for it. I'd say go ahead and finish this down here. Okay. Let's get this all this thistle knocked off again. Okay. And then we'll give it a few days and I'll try to get in here with the ranger and get it sprayed again. Yeah, because it's, especially this one, Yeah. it's all the way down right along the edge of the corn. Yeah, that's all that new stuff. Yeah. It's where we widen the waterway for the CRP. So we didn't want to spray that with the new grass being planted. Mm -hmm. We were afraid we would kill it. Kill it. Okay. And if you want to just go from here and just go to the shop. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get these off. Okay. And we'll meet you back home. Okay. Did you see the drone flying at all? I did a little bit. It kind of scared me there for a second. <laughs> Wait for you to wait. But you're not, I thought about doing that too, but I'm like, oh, I should look like I should look like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> be like, hands free! <laughs> Is that hole on top or on the bottom? It's right here on top. Is that it? Yep. yep. Ready? Yep. Bolts are stuck in our blades. They're stuck. So we're trying to find a hammer. That ought to work better. Do we need to roll that roll tile? Well, I thought about the other day. Um, we need to move. Because since I'm here, I can whack that stuff down real yeah, quick. Yeah, we could. Uh, we could move that real quick. Uh, we, we're probably two of us. Jared have any here? I don't know. We'll check, see if Jared's got anything. Well, we'll see if Jared edits his <laughs> shop time. out of the... You should save it, Kevin, and put it in another video. We'll think of anything you have. Yeah. <laughs> I think now we know why our shop's always in there. Yeah. It's Jared's fault. <laughs> no hitch. I didn't see nothing. I was afraid of that. See any tools you guys want? You He'll need never. Tools need to go back to the shop. Yeah, anything we oh, gotta yeah. repossess. Need a truck hitch, Jared. And you got nothing. He don't need anything to go back to the shop. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's the hitch for that box there. Right? It's got a ball on it. How hard would that be? We could take the ball off. Yeah, Let's go grab that. We can. Put it in his vise. Imagine that, inch and a half. Yeah. We're going to get this tile moved so that Dustin can go ahead and mow this down while he's here.
not a prank this time. Coming for you, Dad. Fine. Freaking snake, man. Ooh, I'm gonna chop him up. That little one just went that away. That one's right there. Where's he at? Oh, oh see him right there? Oh, just a little. Okay. Little rat I don't know what they are, but that means there's a big snake somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna sling one somewhere. All right, we're getting slung. <laughs> That's our first merch T-shirt right there. Get him slung. We sling him. We, <laughs> we sling, we sling, sling him. Slinging some snakes. <laughs> Get him slung. <laughs> Stay tuned for that merch drop. That looks better. I'm kind of sad we aren't going to be stringing any tile this year ourselves. But funny thing is, is there's not any of the other three guys that are disappointed that we're not plowing it ourselves this year. Man, it's an incredibly satisfying job when you're done, but it's a lot of work. We did encounter a couple of small snakes. The guys are telling me they were little garter snakes. And they were little, but I, these things had fangs like this, I swear. I think Kyle and I are gonna head north and check some beans and see if we can't catch the guys tiling. So we will catch up with you later. So I'm curious, does that machine crimp it somehow when he pulls out? Yeah, it'll uh, it'll cut it and then it'll crush it. I'll be darned. Well, that's kind of nice, not having to worry about somebody plugging it and. Oh yeah. So basically, it all it has to do is just crush it enough to get to where the the structure is no longer there and then the dirt holds it down is that what happens it, it bees it oh and then it because when you when you look in there that cylinder comes in and it's kind of got a long diamond like kind of like a canine tooth look to it uh, okay it comes up and it'll crush it and it'll be it and it'll kind of curl it up that's cool that's great Yeah. So it cuts it. So instead of putting a plug in the end of the tile, it cuts it and smashes it Seal your... and seals it. Efficiency of its final No doubt. I'm going to try to get a little video of that cutter crimper when he pulls out. 
I've never seen anything quite like that. That's that's cool. right here will actually cut the tile and you saw pictures of that crimper and then he can go ahead and finish plowing it in and you don't have to worry about somebody cutting the tile here putting the plug in it and then finishing it out so that's what that long box is on top of the boot so he'll slow down See it? You can see the tile moving. You just I just heard it cut. It's crimped. He'll go ahead and finish plowing it in what's in the boot. And then he'll be out of the ground. See so, you now you wonder why we couldn't have thought of that. But I guess it takes the smart ones to figure that out. This is how much we've got running already from the heavy rains we got a couple days ago. You can see the animal guard. Yeah, nice cool water. It doesn't get much cleaner. It's a little dirty right now, but they're still hooking on to it. So you can drink that. Almost, not quite yet. <laughs> So just out of curiosity, we're coming down here to see what the 10 inch outlet's doing. Running pretty good for no more than's on it. Yeah. There. <laughs> so there's quite a bit more tile to be hooked onto that outlet uh, probably yeah probably 40 acres or so at least All right, well, I think we're gonna we're gonna head back south. I got to do a, a little bit of work for Jared, and uh, we'll find something. We can we can find a broom or something for Kyle to push. So, <laughs> so everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.